say what you want, but situationships are fun. Okay. I said it. They're tormenting, obviously traumatizing. Yes. When I'm at my lowest, I'm also low key at my highest because Hmm. I was trying to numb the pain, but a situationship, like having a guy that does not like you that much, like he likes you, but he doesn't like you that much. That's, oh my God, bring that topic to happy hour spin tornado rampage like it's so fun seeing if he checked your stories updating your friends when he does literally nothing and you're like he still didn't text me back that's tea like i'm gonna let her finish clearly but exactly does not like you that much exactly i thoroughly enjoy the way this woman talks this is a lovely woman she's not doing the bs of acting like oh this is not a thing that women aren't like this no, she's admitting that everything a lot of men have been saying. Oh my god. The fact of how exciting it is, it creates good chat, good gossip, good tea in a group chat, doesn't it? It's exciting, it's fun. Why do women act as if we as men don't know this? Like, just that you get to come in with that information and you get to like mull it over and literally like lose your mind dissecting it every day with a friend and you're like but what does this mean but what does this mean and the message is literally just a fire emoji and you're like but what did he but what did he mean by it because that was fun man i mean it was fun being in it is not fun now that i'm out of it miss it i was like sick like i literally was like very ill but um it um, was it was fun <laughs> of course of course <laughs> miss him if you're seeing this text me <laughs> trauma trauma bonding oh my god she's trauma bonding or trauma bonded with men who treated her bad does not like you that much yeah interesting isn't it in a weird way if as a man you say everything she just said but from a man's perspective that's seen as toxic and misogynistic isn't it well it's horrible treat her mean to keep her keen that is horrible disgusting Uh, that doesn't even work does it okay a woman that likes you enough will lie to herself oh that's manipulative it's manipulating her yeah sure a woman's willingness trumps any and everything oh you're letting her fall into your trap you're not even letting her know when she's wrong why look for as horrible as so much of it sounds Too many men and women understand this is a big part of modern dating. A lot of people don't want to admit too many people are interacting with different people on different levels. Situationships are happening and people are looking for real, real love while people are out here just looking for more trauma bonds. Text me. But it's fun though, isn't it? When are men going to realize that omitting the truth is the same as lying? I was in a relationship with a guy. We go to a party together. There's a girl there that he's speaking to. We're both like working two different parts of the room. I don't think I need to be on his hip the entire party. I don't want to be like clinging on because frankly, like I don't really want to talk to all the people he wants to talk to. Right. I see like I make eye contact with him as he's saying hello to this girl and they speak for literally maybe like 20 minutes and Mm. I like go over there and I'm like, oh, hi, like nice to meet you because I'm like, oh, it must be like a good friend of him if they're talking for 20 minutes. So I say my hellos later after the party because right when I met her, I got the biggest vibe. The biggest vibe. So after the party, I was like, did you and her ever date? I asked that and he looked at me bewildered. He was like, no. Okay, the question she just asked is, did the two of you ever date? (laughs) No. Uh, I'm laughing because I get it. But as a man, I'm like, well, he didn't lie. No. But her point is omitting the truth just not putting information in there which you should have put in there it's like to omit the truth is to lie okay from what she's saying okay but she asked did he date her no did he i would never like her like that i go oh okay i don't think anything of it months later months later we bump into the same woman i was like oh my god that's the girl from the party and he then three months later after i had asked him he goes Yeah, we used to sleep together a lot in college. And I go, (laughs) what? Okay, okay. Now I want to use this video to prove a point and make a point. What they had was a situation ship. They were just messing around. They were just having fun. They were not dating. But the point to what I'm saying is people are dating at different levels. They are. Because from her perspective, no, you two were dating. But from his perspective, no, we had a situation ship. No. That wasn't girlfriend. That wasn't wifey. The question I want to ask to men is, do you think he was wrong? Do you think he was lying? Omitting the truth. By not telling her, yeah, yeah, I was deep in them guts, or maybe something else, but telling her he was making sweet love to that woman, was he lying? Or telling the truth, I wasn't dating her, but we were getting busy. 
but I, but I, but I asked you. Why did you keep this from me? But I asked you. He was like, oh no, you asked if we dated. I would never date her. I would never like her in that way. In his mind, he legitimately convinced himself that he hadn't lied to me because I didn't ask God. Compare her to the first woman. Does not like you that much. What some women don't seem to understand is all women out here aren't dating at the same level and dating for the same reasons. So whereas the first woman was comfortable just having fun, hey, situationship. Text me. Yeah. This woman, she's probably not that sort of woman to a degree. No. However, the point I'm making is Men, as men, we know these sorts of women exist. Women at various different levels. We know it. This is why it's easy as a man to call BS on what a lot of women are saying. Because we know they're not all delicate angels. Oh, oh, you stroke her cheek with a feather. Really? Really? You say you stroke her cheek with something else, but let's not, let's not say that. But look, look, look. The point is, this is partially why there's a lot of confusion in modern dating. Too many different levels too much access to other people and the illusion of options as well hey a lot of people are having fun lied to me because i didn't ask god i don't think we should be together anymore you know we just i don't see how we're compatible anymore at this point you know, like we have our issues i mean definitely communication issues and but uh, do you, are you, you're not saying anything do you have anything to say rada 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 I hate to admit this but sometimes i do get sad that i'm 41 and i've never been married and i don't have any children Okay. And I worry about like when I start getting older and when I die. But what always helps me is when I think about my one patient, I'm going to call her Maribel. Maribel. She um, was on hospice in her hundreds. So she was like a hundred and something and wow. on hospice. And I found out that she had never been married and she never had children. And I feel like that's a bigger deal back then. Like I even feel weird about it now in 2024. But when she was like in her prime it was like 1930 1940s you know what i mean and so maribel was young in the 1930s that was a you know, hundred years ago but that's the point she was young back then never married never had kids but the point i want to make with this one is come on do you think maribel didn't have a colorful life yeah you didn't think maribel was knocking some boots maribel wasn't having some booty calls you didn't think maribel was getting it on really really lovely old hundred plus year old woman let's find out and she had never married and back then it was probably even more taboo but it never came up she never talked about it she acted like you know she always talked about all of her friends all of her family her sister um and on her deathbed when she was actively dying in her home i was there and her caregiver was there too she was unconscious and not really responding but i was still kind of talking to her and I said to her, even though I thought I knew the answer, I wanted to make sure because I happened to see a picture of like her and this guy. So I said, Maribel, were you ever married? And to my surprise, she actually answered. And she goes, no, like kind of annoyed. <laughs> Probably sick of people asking her. And then I go, oh really? Well, were you ever in love? Hmm. <laughs> and she answered, she answered. Her eyes were closed and she smiled and kind of scoffed. And she went, ha, many times. There you go. What I mean, Maribel, a hundred years ago was getting busy. Many times. All them grass stains. <laughs> Yeah, she was in love many times. Maribel was, you know, having fun many times. Gotta be careful what I say. Yeah, Maribel was getting freaky a hundred plus years ago. Many times. The point I want to make is that was, like she said, taboo back then. We're in 2024 now. How many young Maribels are living their young, freaky life right now? Oh my God. A lot. It's quite common now, isn't it? Liberated women. A lot of men know that. A lot of men understand there's a huge crop of women I could just have my fun with, but the reality of finding a decent wife amongst this crop is going to be quite difficult, if not impossible. Why bother sometimes? Have your fun if you want, but flip's sake. You'd be lucky to find one who's decent and not <clears throat> a Maribel. Yeah, Maribel was still probably getting that dust knocked off, her, but yeah, this, yeah, Maribel. Lovely name, Not ringing that bell. Oh my god. Many times. <laughs> I will never forget it. Neither will she. And like in that moment, I could like feel and understand that this woman, married or not, right? It doesn't matter, had decades of fun 
and friends and lovers and experiences and it lived a full life and even though some would say she got full of life yeah i'm sure she did you got love me to, yeah, let's carry she on. was lying here dying with me the nurse who she you know only knew a short time and her paid caregiver oh. i could tell that she was still okay and that she still lived this fulfilled life and that when she took her last breath she here on this earth dying quote unquote alone because everyone had already died she was going to wake up and be reunited with all of those people who had gone before her. Getting married, having children is a wonderful thing, but just because we don't have it doesn't mean we're not going to have this amazing, fulfilled life. And dying alone doesn't have to be this awful thing. Sweet, innocent, delicate women. Not that they don't exist, of course they do. However, the fact women think that men have not experienced other than sweet and delicate from women makes you side-eye everything they say when it comes to dating. It's like, what are you? talking about. Have a nice day. Does not like you that much.